Lesson 8.3, multiply a fraction to a whole number using models. We can use a model to see what's happening when we multiply a fraction by a whole number. We can shade fraction circles or fraction strips and look for a pattern. We divide a whole into equal parts shown by the denominator. So our denominator is 5, so one of our whole strips is going to be divided into 5 equal parts. And they all will be divided into 5 equal parts. We shade the number of equal parts shown by the numerator. We have a 2, so there's going to be 2 parts shaded in each of the strips. Then the whole number, this 3 factor, tells us how many strips to make. We have 5 equal parts, 2 are shaded, we have 3 of them. The product is the total number of shaded parts. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of them written over the denominator 5. We have 6 fifths. We did 2, the numerator, times the whole number 3, that's 6, and we use the same denominator. Emma walks her dog for 2 sixths hour every day. How much time does she spend walking her dog each week? We think, well, there's seven days in a week. She's doing it two-sixths hour every day. We need to find two-sixths seven times. Two-sixths times seven. The denominator, this six, tells us that each fraction strip has six equal parts. The numerator, the two, tells us to shade in 2 in each strip. And the 7, the whole number, tells us we need 7 strips. And the product is the total number of shaded parts, all these pink parts, written over the denominator. The product is the total number of shaded parts written over the denominator. We have 14 shaded parts in all, our numerator is a 14, it's written over the denominator 6. And we learned how to write the simplest form of fractions greater than 1 back in video 7.6. It's linked in the description. 14 6 is 2 and 2 6 as a mixed number. And we can still simplify the 2 6 as a 1 3rd. So she walks her dog for 2 and 1 3rd hours each week. Here we have 2 eighths times 3. We need to find the product. We have 2 eighths times 3. That means we have it 3 times. One group of 2 eighths is 2 eighths. Two groups of 2 eighths is 4 eighths. And three groups of 2 eighths is 6 eighths. So 2 eighths times 3 is equal to 6 eighths. And we can write this in simplest form by dividing the numerator and denominator by a common factor, 2. We get 3 fourths in simplest form. We can look for a pattern in the table to see what's happening when we multiply a fraction by a whole number. Here's our multiplication problems. Here's the whole number, that's the number of groups. Here's the fraction, that's the size of each group, and then the product. We have a fifth and a fifth. We have two times one fifth. The whole number is two. The fraction size is one fifth. We have two fifths. One, two. Here we have two times two fifths. We have a two fifths and a two fifths. We have two of them. The whole number is two. The fraction size is two fifths. We have four fifths. One, two, three, four. Here we have 2 times 3 fifths. Our whole number is 2. The fraction size in each group is a 3 fifths. We have 3, 4, 5, 6 fifths. So when we multiply a fraction by a whole number, the numerator in the product is the product of the whole number and the numerator. And the denominator of the product is the same as the denominator of the factor. We do 2 times 3, which is 6, and we write it over the 5 denominator. And in simplest form, 6 fifths, that's a fraction greater than 1, that's equal to a 5 fifths 
plus a one-fifth, that's one whole, same numerator and denominator, we have one and one-fifth in simplest form. Here we have four times three-fourths. We have one, two, three, four, and there are three-fourths in each circle. We multiply the whole number to the numerator. Four times three is 12, and we put it over that same denominator, four. And we can continue by writing this in simplest form by doing 12 divided by four, which is equal to three. Four times three-fourths is equal to 12-fourths, which is equal to three whole. Here we have four fraction strips that are split into eighths. See, it's got a denominator eight. Seven of each strip are filled in, so that's seven eighths. There's four of them, so we have four times seven eighths. We multiply the whole number to the numerator, and we write it over the denominator of the factor. We have 28 eighths, and we can use division to write this in simplest form. We think 28 divided by eight. How many times can eight fit into 28? Well, eight times three is 24, and we'll have four left over. That's gonna be our numerator. So we have three whole for our quotient and four eighths. We can simplify four eighths even more as a half. It's equal to three and a half. Let's try some higher order thinking skills. We need to find the unknown number, the missing number for the box. We see there's an unknown number times 3 elevenths is equal to 6 elevenths. And we think an unknown whole number multiplied to this numerator is going to equal this 6 numerator. Well, we think 3 times 2 is 6. That whole number must be a 2. For the next one, we have a whole number 3 times, we have a missing numerator, over 15 is equal to 12 fifteenths. And we think 3 multiplied to an unknown numerator will give us this 12 numerator. And 3 times 4 is equal to 12, so that missing numerator must be a 4. Here we have 5 as our whole number times 4 over a missing denominator is equal to 20 ninths. We can see that 5 times 4 is 20. What's the missing denominator? Well, the denominator of the factor will be the same as the denominator of the product. So this denominator must be 9. Sophia is making baby bibs. She needs 2 thirds yards of lace for each bib. How many yards of lace will Sophia need for six bibs? So the lace is going around the edge here. She uses two-thirds yard for each bib. She wants to make six bibs. We think two-thirds six times. That's two-thirds times six. For two-thirds yard for one bib, we have two-thirds. And for two bibs, we have one, two, three, four-thirds. For three bibs, we now have one, two, three, four, five, six thirds. For four bibs, we have eight thirds. For five bibs, we have 10 thirds. And for six bibs, we have 12 thirds. And two thirds times six is equal to 12 thirds. We can write it in simplest form. We do 12 divided by three, this 12 numerator divided by the three denominator, and it comes out even as a four. That's four yards of lace. And if this confused you, changing this fraction greater than 1 into the 4, you need to watch video 7.6. In our next lesson, 8.4, we're going to multiply fractions or mixed numbers by a whole number. Stay focused, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.